Alright, so here's part two of that video and the things I'm going to be using for this one again are the alcohol, Q-tips, uh, this card, the card is for spreading the thermal paste, uh, I'll be using Arctic Silver, uh, this stuff is really, really awesome. Um, so, this is what a heat sink should look like when it's ready to go on to a processor, nice and shiny and clean. And the processor should look something like that. No, no thermal paste or anything. And this is what the heat sink looks like that's not clean. So, in the last video, we went over how to clean it, or how to clean the processors. And with heat sinks, it's the same procedure. Take the alcohol on your cloth, just rub it off. If you do it on a side that doesn't have thermal paste already all over it, sorry. One second. Okay. There we go. Much better. Once it dries. Anyways. Alright, so the method I use for doing these processors, uh, Last time I did it, I bolted, I actually put them inside and I knocked these little levers down and put, put them in there and I put the thermal paste on. Uh, for now, I'm just going to like rust it right there and put the thermal paste on it. I know a lot of tech people will be all pissed off at me for doing this, but these processors are really not worth any kind of money, so. So anyways, I just put a little bit of mount on there and take the processor. You take your card. Now, any kind of hard plastic card will work well. It needs to be laminated. Uh, it, no, no, like uh, business cards that are paper for obvious reasons. But anyways, you take it and you just use your edge, and you just want to put a real, real smooth layer there. You don't want to put a really thick layer because. You don't need a whole lot of it. The goal, like I said in the last video, the goal is to transfer heat from the top of this, where the silver is, to the bottom of the heat sink, which is copper. And there are micro imperfections in the processor and the heat sink. Uh, and this is basically the bridge that allows those two to conduct well. Uh, so you have really low temperatures because the heat is able to pass through off of the processor to the heat sink quicker and it keeps the processor cool. So anyways, uh, that's also another reason why Arctic Silver is very important because of the materials that it is composed of that make it very good for heat transfer. So anyways, uh, you kind of get the idea here. Real, real thin layer, not a whole lot. Just, uh, actually, that's, that's more than I wanted. Oh, geez, it's okay, everything's fine. One second, dude. Okay, so I kind of made a little bit of a mess on the side of the processor here. That's okay. I still got a little bit of a Q-tip here. So I'm just going to... And you know what? That'll be fine. So I'm going to take the other side of this card here that has not been covered in goo. And I'm just going to continue. I'm going to try and scrape some of the excess off here. I feel like I have a little much but, I mean, it's not gonna... It's gonna be okay, but... As you can tell, that's just a real thin layer. It's not super thick. It's evenly spread, as even as I'm gonna be able to get it. And then, again, back to the corner thing. So there's your little diamond corner. It goes in. like so, and it's just kind of rusty in there now, so I can't nudge it with my fingernail. Drop the little latch down. Oh, did I put that in wrong? That feels... Oh, that's definitely right, okay. Uh, and then, I'm just gonna take this heat sink, it's all clean. And 
put it on there. Just it's resting now. I mean, as evenly as possible. I'm gonna try and get these down here. This is what's gonna make that work together. Keep it on there, nice and tight. Doesn't wiggle. We're good on that side. So now we're gonna move over to process of two. Uh, but I'm gonna do it this way instead. So I'm gonna actually do it while it's actually plugged in so you can see the two different methods that there are. For this one, since it's a little tighter space, I'm just gonna put a little strip right there and that's all I'm gonna use. Again, you don't need a whole lot. Uh, if you actually have a little squeegee, like one of those little uh, things that comes with, uh, you know when you buy like a uh, screen protector for a phone or whatever, you can use those on this too. Those work really well. Um, I just don't have one, and I can't be bothered to go to the store and buy one for a couple of dollars when I have this card that I'm never going to use again. So I might as well just repurpose it for this. So, I mean, you can do it in a variety of different locations. It doesn't, you know, if you're going to do it inside of a machine like this, make sure, again, you're taking all your anti-static precautions. Make sure it's not plugged in. Don't want to electrocute yourself or fry anything that you might be working on. That would be very, very bad. So, I'm going to see if I can scrape some of this excess off here. Maybe even this out a little bit. I've been going in one direction quite a bit here. So I feel like that's okay. I made a little bit of a mess here, so I'm gonna clean up just a little bit. I, uh, I got my Q-tip here. I just uh, got a little bit of the extra alcohol off, so it's just a little damp. I'm just gonna go around this and clean up all this crap. It's a fucking mess I made. Sorry about the language. Oh, damn it. All right. Uh, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. It's a little uneven in some of the areas, but when I attach that to the heat sink, I think it's going to take care of it. So again, here's the second heat sink, nice and clean. And this is really interesting because these power edges, they're meant to sit like this. It's really weird. I'll never encounter this on a regular computer. But anyways, uh, that's how you uh, thermal paste some processors. I'll make another video when I do these other ones because I still have these two processors over here for uh, that other blade. So I'll, I'll still do the video on that for you so you'll have two of them. But yeah, I just wanted to get that one done and show you what that one was all about. Hope you enjoyed.